Hi, this is Kate, and I know that some people have questions, and one of the students wrote me, I have questions. That's how I know this. And is what is a catalog? What is a folder? What is a collection? Do folders go in catalogs? Are ca collections collections of folders or catalogs or both? When do I use which? When I import images in the Lightroom 5, do they wind up in catalogs, folders, collections, or all three? This is a really great question. Um, and series of questions because understanding where your pictures are is part of this week. Just to sort of review and to go over it in a step by step, if I pull in a photograph, a card, and you can see we have a number of pictures here from the show at Photo Central, and I'm going to bring it into my hard drive, my hard drive has folders. So I have to decide which folder my pictures will go to. I can choose a number of different folders here. I don't, I'm going to put them right now on my hard drive in users under pictures. And as I usually do, I'm going to do it by date with the year first and then the year. Okay, so right now, my pictures are coming off my card and going onto my hard drive into a folder. When these pictures come up, there is an indication of what folder they're being stored on in my hard drive. And so I can figure out where they are living if I come over here. So now my photographs are in my catalog. I can see them in the catalog. We can see right here. My catalog is called Lightroom 2014 LRCAT, and it's the Adobe Photoshop Lightroom library right now. So my references to my pictures are in my catalog, and this catalog is living on my pictures fo folder in my user on my hard drive. The folders are also indicated over here as to where the original photographs are, not the references. These here are references. And if I click on any one photograph, I can go and show it in the finder, and you'll see that this photograph is right here in 2014 0112. In 2014, in pictures in Kate Yordahl, in users, in Macintosh hard drive on my Macintosh. So right now we have folders, that's where the pictures live. We have the catalog, that's where the references to the pictures live. That's where the ability to develop and make other changes to the pictures happen. But remember, we're, if we were going to go with our metaphor, this is the card catalog. This is the information about a book in a library. This is the book on the shelf that you don't want to lose. This is the original book. The book, the library information, the catalog information is very helpful, useful, important, and sometimes will take you a lot of time to make, but it's separate from the actual print, actual, as they call it, um, digital negative or file, image, whatever. So right now we're seeing a reference to the picture. Separate from that are collections. And so say that I want to take the pictures here that are of actually of the show. This is the show at Photo Central still here. Some people looking at the work. Some different views of the show. Including oh, me playing, being playful. So I've decided that I need to send these pictures. I'm not going to choose the one of me being crazy or the one that's too dark. So I will click and then shift click here to choose these and then control or command click one more. So these are the pictures I've chosen. And then I go to edit and I make a new collection. And we're going to go through collections in some some we went started going through them we'll go through them some more later but just quickly this is going to be a collection that i'm going to call still here for the name of the show 
I'm going to include the selected photographs. I'm not going to make a virtual co copy. So now these photographs are in a collection that I can use to, I can order it in a different way for a website. Make the picture a little bigger, not that much bigger. So I can decide for the website, I'm going to reorder them in one way. This one should be the last one. And I want the people to be sort of mixed in. So this is the order I want them for a website or the order I want to print them on a brochure or whatever. So I can do that in the collection. Each of these pictures will exist both in a folder. They're in the collection still here. They're in a folder in the library and they're in the finder. And there's the folder which houses the original photograph. So this is a reference back to our hard drive. So folder, collection, and catalog, which is the reference to all, all the information that you want to save about your pictures. If I was to come back to my original pictures, and I was going to choose different pictures, like I want to choose this picture that is this, the color checker that I can use to color balance everything. Um, and I want to put, or maybe I'll put all of these into a collection. So I'm going to select all and make another collection. I'm going to call it still here all. So now this picture is in still here and still here all. So pictures can be in many, many collections, but actually they can only be in one folder. The folder is like the drawer or the shelf they're filed on. The collection is the references where you say, I'm going to use it for this, maybe a print. I'm going to use it for this, maybe a website. I want it to go next to a picture of all the shows at Photo Central in this case, or whatever. So collections are a way to to gather pictures together. In a collection, I can pick a picture and say, in this collection, I don't want this picture to be there anymore because it's um, not so very becoming to me. And so I can hit delete and watch what happens if I hit delete this picture that I'm not, I don't like with me being blurry. It goes away. In a collection, I can add and delete things very fluidly. In a folder, if I click delete, I'm going to get a warning because now I'm reaching outside of Lightroom and affecting my hard drive or my disk. So I can either just remove it from Lightroom but leave it in the folder, or I can delete it from the disk where it will actually delete the picture. So folders are the actual pictures, collections are references to the pictures. I hope this helps. Think about it, read about it some more, and let me know what if you have more questions. Thanks so much for being here.